So I will use the same approach here. I will use a try with resources and final war says spark context. So we are going to create a spark context from Java spark context. by passing the spark config that we have created above spark config and this is auto closable which means that we can include it into our try block try with resources block and we are passing this spark on to create our spark context now we create our rdd let's call it as my rdd and i will use the parallelize method on the spark context and pass this data the data which is having uh, 20, 20 random double elements between uh, 47 to 146 point something, 99 something. Okay, so I will pass data here. So our RDD is created, which is Java RDD of double. Okay, now we expect that when we call this my RDD dot for each, only just for each, at the driver node because I'm running it in my local uh, computer, so local uh, laptop. So I'm calling this for each method on this RDD in the driver node. And the driver node, we don't have, if, we, if the RDD is split across the worker nodes, then it should give me an exception because RDD is not present in the driver node yet. So for this, I will, what I will do is that I will call assert throws. And uh, I expect that, uh, an exception. So or dot parche dot spark dot spark exception dot class okay and this i will get this exception i will get that when once i call this my rdd dot let me make it in a separate line so it's visible my rdd dot, dot for each and I'm trying to print ln system dot out dot print ln. Okay. Alt enter to include this. And uh, I will also take this uh, exception. Okay. And let me may mark it as throwable. Final throwable. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we have done. So this is the pattern that when we want to assert any exception, that we will assert through a spark exception dot class, and uh, when we call this for each method, as as discussed, that uh, that uh, this RDD is not present in the driver node, it should throw an exception, which is our spark exception dot class, and we capture it here in this variable, and then we also assert equals that about this exception message exception sorry exception dot get message and it will be throwing something as task not serializable serializable okay so we expect that uh, that uh, exception will be thrown and the exception message would be task not serializable so let's revise what we have done so far. We created our Spark config object and uh, we created our list of double data, which is having 20 elements of some random numbers between 47 to uh, 146 point something. And then we actually uh, create our Spark context and create an RDD object out of, the, out of that data, the double data, list of the data that we have created before. And we expect that once we call for each method with the println, it should throw Spark exception dot class. And then we actually capture it into a throwable uh, variable. And we also assert that this exception has got a message as task not serializable. Let's run this. It will take a little bit of time to initialize the Spark. But in our use case, because it's a very small data, only containing 20 elements, so it should not uh, take that much of time. Let's see. So we expect that this exception uh, should be thrown and yeah, so it's just green and we can see that uh, this it passes. Okay. So this is what we expect then we when we call for each just on the RDD and we expect that we are running this code in the in the driver node because I'm running it in my local computer. 
if you are running it on in a worker node uh, then it will then it will work but that is not a correct approach i mean we should never use for you directly here uh, now let's uh, try to use collect or take method first and uh, see that whether the exception is gone or not 